the cloud. Okay, so let me share my screen so we can. Okay, so one of the things that we have, cancel that, is, um, oops, everyone can see my screen there? Yes? Anybody? You guys see my screen? Yeah. Yep. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay, thank you. There it is. Okay. So one of the things that we're paying for that um, I want you to be using it. If you're not, then we're not going to keep paying for it because it's it's you know we're, we're spending some money each month. That's listing machine machine and social. So on your KB Core, open it up. It's the listing machine and social. Click on that, and it'll open up this here. So how many of you have gone through? How many are using the listing machine and, and social right now? Okay. We're paying for that. So, so what it does is it, it will it will auto post for you on your social media sites. It'll post different things to based on what you want to uh, do. It'll post on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, different places there. It'll post things to your social media site. No, it'll it'll post it, it, it does so let me let's go on here. Let me go to Dave Hansen. Um so Facebook posts. Is it under, I can't it's under nope, it's under listed machine and social. Oh okay. click on there. And then I want to view as um okay. So I want to view as me. Okay. So I've got nothing posted uh, to, for, for today, next seven days. I've got nine things I'll post the next night on Facebook and the net, nine things will post in the next seven days on Facebook, four on Twitter, nothing on there. So um, what you wanna do is, uh, uh, let me get to where it is. Uh, so social media. So I'm gonna go to the, the dashboard here for my social media. Oops, which is, I think I'm in right now. Let's see, nope, here's social media. So this will still show me the, the performance, what's going, when things are gonna be going out on there. Um, um, and what I can do is, um, so overview articles. So um, these are the areas that I'm, that I'm posting in. Um, these are the categories. These are the types of things I'm posting on. Architecture, do-it-yourself, home improvement, landscaping, and exterior photography, buying and selling tips, interior design, moving tips, real estate. So you can, you can. So I can hit edit. You can pick the categories, and you do this up here in this top parts here where you set everything up here. Here's setup. Um, so I can go in. So right now I'm. I'm. So it does it for you. You. It does it for you. There. Yeah. You do. It does it for you. Um, so you pick your locations where you want you which areas you know of Facebook that you want to market to, um, and then what categories. And you can you can select at least eight categories. <clears throat> yeah, we, we get we're we're paying for this as a company. Yeah. Yeah. So so I here's the categories I've picked. So if you go on here and you go to social media, you hit setup. That will walk you through. So you set up your profile, your articles, your listings, um, your Twitter, your LinkedIn, all that. You can do that all in here. Instagram, though. What? Instagram is not there. Uh, probably because they don't have a uh, an agreement with them, probably. Um, but if it if you've got an account, it'll post for you, keep you out there. No, I don't know that right now. A lot of people use Twitter. Um, <laughs> so what you so here I'm allowing. So as you go through this, you, it'll walk you through the post, uh, walk you through your settings, and it'll help you set things up. Um, so I'm continuing. 
Um, again, here's where you're, here's the, the city that you can do by city, you can do it by county. So I could just do county, I could do Contra Costa County. Awesome. So you can, you can choose specific cities, you can choose counties. It gives you a list of them, you, you pick those, which ones you want to have, you know, your postings go to those areas. And then um, which days you want to do it so you can you can do it where it posts those for you automatically when was this added it, it, months ago yeah um now what it does is um i think it sends you a notice sample? saying this so this is a um cheers to new year and happiness shift for heavier oprah winfrey that was so uh, there's a sample. So these are holidays you want to post on. So you can set that up. There's a New Year's. Here's a Valentine's Day sample. Here's St. Patrick's. So Easter non-religious, Easter religious. Um, I'm not sure how a lily in there makes it. Oh, it's the, the, no, it says Christ Lord oh. is risen today. That's why it's up there. Uh, yeah, the message, yeah. <laughs> Uh, here's Mother's Day. Here's Victoria Day for all of your Canadian friends. Um, you know, Halloween, which just passed. So you can choose which holidays you want to awesome. post for. Did you see through the mail No, once you get started, I think you're, it's, it's fairly easy to do. Now, what, it, what it's going to do is it's going to send you a notice saying, hey, it's we're ready to post. You have to approve it for it to post. So if you don't approve it, it's not posting. Have you done one yourself? Yes. Um, you know what? I've I've actually not been approving them lately, so I haven't been oh, keeping up. So I I've got to do it. Okay. I know. I know. Um, so also, um, so it'll also take marketplace listings, other listings in the area, and post those for you automatically. So it'll it'll do some postings of there. It'll post other agents listings to your social media accounts to supply you with fresh and consistent lead generation opportunities. Um, these are marketplace listings. These listings will post on your preferred schedule. Um, it, it, it does it in a way that it's, it keeps it within the parameters. And you, you can filter what range the properties in between 400 and 500 or whatever right price. I probably need to raise that up to uh, 600 because Oh, I'm getting that. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. Yeah, exactly. One, one, two, three, one, two. I don't know. One, two, three. One, two, three. So I take one of those zeros out. There we go. Two million. Okay. Um, continue. So it's saving those. So I you just go through each page, setting it up. And then you, you can upload your, your photo that you want with that, your information there. And then once it's all done, it will set that up. Um, profiles, you never miss the leader. Okay, continue to agent profile. So then it, it takes me to uh, agent profile setup. You wanna make sure you're correct and information is correct there. Um, all my stuff is in there, we're good. And that's where you put your social media links in on that page there. Uh, you can put a biography in um, with that. Again, your marketing tool, your agent logo. If you need that, let us know. We can get that, you can put that in there. Um, so the broker, the, the print suite is already pre-chosen, social media accounts. Um, it'll show if you're connected to those, um, which ones you're connected to. Is your page on Facebook personal or business? Um, I think I'm using my personal one. Okay. And then, and I gotta, I gotta, I gotta receive content. Next, oops, what am I missing? Both. Yes. 
save and exit, see what it does there. So um, let me see if um, this is coming from, uh, who is it coming from? Listing machine. Let me see if I've got a sample of listing machine. Move that. Okay. Core. Core market. Uh, circle picks. Um, weekly stats. Um, yeah, so I think what, what, once you get it set up, it'll send you a email saying, hey, um, do you want to post this? And if you say yes, then it'll post it onto your site. But it's really a good way of, of getting yourself out there on social media um, so that it's doing it automatically for you. Uh, it's gonna take you about, I would say, it's gonna take about an hour to set it all up properly, but take the time to use it because it, it is a good way of getting things out there. You can choose to post every day, but I wouldn't. I'd, I'd post three or four times a week. So that things are getting out there. Um, and then check your site after it's posted, see if people respond to that and respond to their responses to that. Because that's where, that's where the value comes in is. Uh, so Maggie, you and I were talking yesterday about Barb. Um, and you know how where, where she because she's she's picking up and picking up some listings and and that and so what are tell me some of the things that Barb does on her social media. Um, so she keeps up with every client she's ever had or ever talked to about real estate. So she's actually got like noted who she's talked to and what they've talked about. So that's the first thing that keeps her in order. And then she just she's on Facebook a lot. Um, she's going to love this tool. I'm, I'm sad that she's not with us today, but you know, her husband's having a hard time. So she's been doing a lot of stuff right. there. Um, but what she does is when somebody likes something that she puts on, she makes sure that she likes back whatever they put on. That's a given, but then she takes an, the extra time to go onto their site. So like every single person that goes on hers and likes something, she goes onto their site and goes and reviews what they've done lately and then makes sure she comments and likes whatever they've done. So she's taking a little bit of the extra mile or she'll give them a call and say, oh my God, I didn't know so-and-so was doing this now. So she takes that extra step, not just like something and it go away, but she actually takes the extra step of reaching out to them and contacting them. Um, so she got another listing yesterday that way. She seen somebody on there talking to another friend about, wow, I seen this great house. She realized she talked to them a few years ago. Actually, we both had about real estate, she called them up and um, she got the listing. So that's the kind of stuff she's doing. Yep, and that's great. So the other thing to do is if you if you get notices on um, from Facebook about so-and-so's birthday, I nine times out of 10 will call them rather than just post them on Facebook because everybody's posting on Facebook. Yeah. Um, I might do that there too, but I give them the phone call and they're always surprised. It's like, oh, wow, thank you, you know, that, that you called. So again, um, I'm not on Facebook and those a lot. I actually want to get somebody to do it for me, some things for me and, and go on and because I just don't, I, I, I just, I'm not super thrilled with social media all the time, but it's, I, I realize there are some good connections to be made, but this is some positive ways to do it. You're posting things out there either on your personal or on your your professional site that um, that help to show that you're in the business and and put uh, it, it's kind of like um, the American Lifestyle magazine um, with the quality and the types of things. They're they're good articles. They're good uh, positive things you know, based on real estate or do it yourself or architecture or cooking or that, that they put out there. Um, so in a world filled with all the, uh, the junk that's been going on out there, 
this is some positive posts that I think that people appreciate versus, you know, all the other stuff. Uh, be careful with posting stuff political out there. Um, it just, you know, one, you're never going to convince somebody on social media. Um, two, it, it just, it, people will, you, you will, you know, I, I, I never have conversations, rarely ever have conversations with my clients about politics and that sort of stuff, because generally here is, so as someone who was a pastor for years and years and years, it was frustrating because I would preach a message, but 30 to 40, you know, 30 to 40 minutes. Yeah. 30 to 40 minutes. You can only cover so much, but there's a lot of stuff that's left unsaid. There's a lot of stuff you can't cover. And Every week, there's people who walked out misunderstanding or upset or whatever because you didn't cover something that they, you know, would have wanted answers to. So that's the frustrating thing about pastoring and, and, and preaching is that you can't cover everything in one message. And I had many times people very upset with me because, well, you, what about this? It's like, I didn't have time to cover all of that. The, you know, this is... I'm just trying to hit one or two things here. So same thing with social media and posting about, you know, all the ills and problems of the world. Uh, you're just not going to make, you know, convince people that are, you know, things are different. And um, so these are good positive ways that you can post some things on out there. Um, and so um, if you start, you actually please use it because we're paying for it. So um, we actually pay a couple hundred dollars a month for this to be there. So um, let me just encourage each of you to go on, set it up. If you need help setting that up, I can walk you through some of that. I need to go back and, and re kind of set some of mine because I think that some of my things have, have uh, dropped off a little bit. Maybe but it, it yeah, I, the, the, the setup process is if, you're, if, you, if you start up here, it says setup. If you walk through that part, it'll do that. Um, let me let me go to Facebook pending posts and see if it'll show. So um, let's see. So um, so so here's here are posts that didn't post. So it, what I wasn't what I haven't been doing. I haven't been going on and posting things. So it's saying, hey, these ones you're you're late on these ones for posting. You have to go into here. And you have to say, yes, post it. So here's um, uh, best TVs in 2020. So let me hit post. No, block up popper. Um, so what date do you feel are good to post? Oops. Hang on. Post. Can you, can you tell it to post from your phone? Dave, is it on the app for your phone? Uh, say it again. Can you post it right from your phone, like the KB Core app we have? Does it do it, or have you checked into it? I think I think you can. Oops, son is posting a bazillion things here. Um, so let me create. Okay, no, we're not create. Crud. Login. There we go. Sorry. Okay. So let me let me let me post. I turn the blocker off now. So log in. There we go. And so it. So if you guys look up here, here's my. Here's the post. Um, so this was on TVs, uh, best TVs in 2020. Looking for a new TV, start here. Um, so I can say something and then it says, put these editors research to work, find a new TV. Um, so I can say, yeah, I like that article. Let me go, I pushed post, it shows what it is. Um, uh, just bought a new TV for the office. Um, um, uh, during this the time, a good TV is, um, 
a must. So there. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to do public and I'm going to say post to Facebook. And it's posted on Facebook. So now it says it's posted. What? Do you normally do a message or not? Uh, you can. Are you doing that? You don't have to, okay. but you can. Dave, I just came to this last year with another company and I get a lot of likes when I do what God right. does. I answer. Uh, but th this is thrilling to yeah. me because I, it's coming up soon. I won't have to pay for it again. But if you, so what you want to do is yeah. under, under your dashboard here on here, social media, um, Facebook pending posts, click on there and it'll show you the ones that are coming up. So here's past due and um, pending posts, there's none there. So these are the dates and I was supposed to uh, post these ones and I didn't do that. So Stuart Way, is that one of our listings off in the office? Yeah. Whose is that one? Is that you guys? Are you guys pending yet? Yeah. Okay. How about uh, Via Joaquin in Moraga? Who's that? Oh, that's Judy's. I'll post that. And I'm just going to do a straight post on that one. So again, it will it should send you out a notice saying, hey, you've got a post ready to go. Do you want to do it? Go on your um, listing machine and go under social media and your pending posts and uh, approve those, add to that, and put those on there. So it's a great thing. And um, again, we're paying for it. And it's good, positive things. It'll pull listings. I think they, I, I, so it looks like it's just pulling our company. So it'll pull our company listings. So Bonnie Lane is ours, Stuart is ours, Via Joaquin is ours. So it'll pull, pull those different things here um, and it'll post those on there. So um, again, um, I can manage the company. I can manage the office. You guys will have your own that you can market. Um, you can do presentation flyers through here. Um, QR codes, uh, agent galleries, there's different things you can do for, through this, but it's a really good tool to be using. And um, so, um, uh, Carla, how much are you paying for it? I, I, that whole, I mean, $100. Okay. Facebook, Facebook actually does one. And then they send out the other pictures for me. That I get to approve right. of uh, houses. And I was just showing you not. Yeah. Uh, but this is, I, I pray this is, works as well. Yeah. I've had great success. I haven't gotten any leads from it, but right. I, I've got a lot of new uh, people. And again, I think this is kind of tied into our our thing there. So if people are responding, hopefully it'll ties back into our um, your your database too. So, um, but start with go on there. Start with setup and put it together, walk through the process, and then start to, to do that, okay? And you have a video on there, do some of the things that we do, there's a video that goes with them. So right up here in the top right-hand corner, okay. it says Learning Portal, click on Learning Portal, and it'll open up the core listing machine, okay. and there's Core Social. Yes. Um, so core social, new automated content, now with total control. So you can, so if you go through here, it'll walk you through these tutorials. So get started now, more choice. So let me get started now. Oh, you don't have to pay because we you already, you already get it. Um, what is the learning portal? More control, more engagement. <laughs> oh, support center. Let me there. So here's the, the basics, main profile, connect your social media accounts, how to create a flyer, um, how to reconnect your Facebook page, managing QR codes, how to announce an open house. So here's all the, here's all the training, you know, manage your, uh, connect your social media accounts. So I'll walk you through how to 
how to connect your social media account. So there's the steps to do that. So that's going to be in the that's going to be in the top right section, support center. So cl click on that for help on getting that set up. Okay. So I got to run and get my dad to an appointment. So, um, but I didn't think that you guys were, they brought this to us a few months ago and we talked about it a few months ago, but obviously most people have forgotten about it. But I would say, go on, play with it and start set it up and, and start posting two or three times a week to those different areas. Um, you know, link, you can choose LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, um, and, it'll do, do some of that stuff for you automatically. But again, you got to go in and approve the post and you can add something in there, okay? Any questions, people? Bueller, Bueller? Thank you. Stop Anybody the share.